stage four. All right, let's uh, let's bust out the Pink Ranger. All right, in this level, there's actually an optional boss fight, I believe. So I'll uh, show you where you can find a said boss. Just gotta find the right uh, clump of rocks, I guess you could say. Can I get up there now, or do I have to wait? Let's go. Oh, it's right here. Well, not, well, th this is one step to it. Ah, darn it. Knock it off. Awesome. Ah, I missed the coin. There we go. Not that one. Not that one either. So yeah, she's also got her own uh, attack as well. Darn it. It's a little slow on the, uh, in the draw, but uh, it's quite can be quite uh, useful <laughs> as long as you got room. Let's just go the quick way. Hey. That was a mastodon, I believe. So I got another one. Another Mastodon. Points galore! Whoa! I was not expecting her to go that quick. <laughs> Can't really do the. Uh, well, I seem to have a lot of trouble doing the uh, the drop kick with the the putties just because they've got their own jump attack. But if you uh, give them too much time and space, they'll generally use it. Another mastodon. Oop, running out of time. I reach zero. Keep an eye on my health. See, the health is slowly going down. Yeah. All right. So here, I think this is the optional boss fight right here. Who could it possibly be? Let's find out. Lord Zed himself. So the goal of this is to attack his hand. Watch where his head is pointing, because that's where that attack is going to go. Eek. Darn it! Didn't get out of there quick enough. Actually, pretty powerful. At least it seems to be enemy. <laughs> Anytime things work properly, they tend to they seem to be powerful. <laughs> Come on, quit running around. There we go. Another mastodon. Four points. May not be a sword, but I think that would kind of really hurt. In case you're wondering what she's uppercutting with, she's uppercutting cutting with her bow. Yeah, that's. Uh, 
For some reason, that strikes me as something that would hurt quite a bit. Hey, it's Gul'dar! Alright, this guy's a little bit of a, uh... Hey, I got him. This can be a, a rather, uh, slow battle. Alright, quit doing that. Well, I'm gonna get that rock out of there. <laughs> There we go. When he's flying up like that, you gotta do the uh, the dash uh, punch to knock him down. Ah! Wow, I think that's the first time I've ever seen him do that. He's down. Darn. Try to wait a bit longer for him, because he se seems to be susceptible to that kind of stuff as well. There we go. Yeah. Nope, he's out. Darn it! Oh wow, we got two of them that time. Oop, he's in the air. <laughs> Come on. And he runs away. The coward. Or what did Lord Zed call him? The groveling one? Yeah. Oh, looks like he's not done yet. Oh, okay, so you do get a second chance for the White Tiger Zord. There you go. Let's go with the Thunder Megazord, though. about this sword, but specifically, I just love it. Possibly it's because of the, uh, what is that, a saber? Don't think it's a katana. Oh yeah, I'm, uh, there we go. <laughs> Using special moves here. Again, it can be a rather, can be a bit of a slow battle as well. Because it's cool there. But, uh... Eek! Ah! Didn't get my shield. Let's get in the corner. Hitboxes, I tell you. Hitboxes. And he runs again. 